Hello everybody, I'm sort of in the shop. <laughs> I'm gathering tools. Uh, I don't know if I'll get to work on any blanks tonight or not. I need to cut my grass. I was going to have my son do it, but uh, he had an appointment, so he's on his way to that. Uh, let me show you what I'm working on. Get out here in the yard. I told you guys the other day that I dug a ditch. And uh, I was finishing out my my drainage project let me flip the camera around and show you what i got now i've got to get a longer piece of pipe because i want this pipe to end here at the uh, drain you can see some of the uh, shavings there that came out of the pipe from the last rain we had uh, and i don't have this elbow glued in i want to make sure that you know i get the piece of pipe in there and then i get it all angled in the right way uh, plus if i have a long piece of pipe it could be difficult to jam it into the fitting you know if i go ahead and glue that so that's just pressure fit but that's a six inch pipe Goes all the way back to here. You can't really see anything. I've got it somewhat covered up. I'm gonna have to get some more dirt. And this is where I go from four inch to six inch. Now the four inch is from my gutter, and the six inch I, I made it larger because I'm gonna put this this uh, grating here. Okay. And the idea is, you know, you still have a drainage ditch, and I've still got water coming off the upper lots. It's gonna come down through here. And I want this slightly below surface so that the majority of it, it'll take the easiest path, will drop into there, and hopefully it'll wash less of this out. This used to be, you remember, oh my gosh, it was uh, 10, 12 inches deep. Um, but this is in hopes of getting some of that water, you know, into the pipe underground and to come out right at the drain. The other thing we're going to do is this uh, grating. I've got a second one, and I'm going to install it back here. I don't know if you remember, if you watched any of my drainage videos last year. But right, right in here somewhere, I think it's right here, is, uh, is an elbow. And I'm going to dig that up and I'm going to tap into that elbow and put another drain right here to try to catch some of the earlier stuff. Because when it comes down off these upper lots, it comes down and it, it looks like a river flowing through here. So I'm just trying to put some of it underwater or underground uh, to, you know, to help with the erosion on my lot. And the other thing is, see my neighbor's fence? The ground used to be up to the level of this fence and you can see how much of it is eroded away so basically we'll get that done we're going to put a concrete circle or not a con yeah, concrete um, a brick circle that will concrete in around this uh, this receiver here this this drain his pipes there we're gonna do some modification to his pipe to run it just like mine get rid of all these rocks and once we level that up we'll come in and backfill all this with dirt and I'll backfill all this with dirt we'll raise it up to the level of his fence and when we get to that point, I'll be able to connect onto his fence and run a ha uh, fence all the way up to right where that gutter is. You can see how that gutter dog legs there. Uh, the fence will connect right there. I'll move the dog leg up. And uh, that way, you know, I, I just did that for the time being, but I, I did that on purpose because I plan to mount my post there. So right now I've dug out the two sides for this pipe or this uh, drain. And uh, what I've got left to do is, um, let me show you. You can see that there's about a half of an inch extra of the green pipe on either side of the drain right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Dremel tool and I'm going to cut not the whole distance off, but I still want to leave a little bit of a lip there, but I'm going to cut some of that off for two reasons. You know that a kid is going to step on this drain and when they do, it's going to push down. So I want it closer to the pipe because the drain has about a quarter inch lip all the way around it, so that'll press against the six inch pipe and keep from jamming the four inch pipe that the drain feeds into down into my bigger drain, uh, number one. And number two, it gets me just a little bit farther below surface. I want this below surface because I'm hoping once I backfill this with dirt to bring in some sod and lay some sod right up next to this so that as the water comes down, it's a tiny bit above the drain, so it kind of flows off into the drain as it leaves as it moves on down the lot. So that's what I'm going to work on, and then after that, uh, I'm hoping to quickly cut my grass because we're expecting some rain for the next few days. Uh, we dodged a bullet today. It was supposed to rain all day today. We just got a tiny bit earlier, so uh, I'm hoping to get that done and, and dodge that bullet, um, or you know, so I don't have to deal with it. But I'd like to get this done and packed with dirt so I can try to keep from washing what little dirt I have away. Anyway, that's what I'm working on. I'll keep you guys posted dug a little sod up from over on the other side of the yard and I put it in right here so that the water can run up and run over the sod and hopefully fall into the uh, grating. 
as opposed to hitting the grating and going under, which is what it would have done. I've really wetted that down and mashed it in. And then I took and mashed in uh, mud and sod, some rough, some some not as nice sod on the other side. So we're going to see how this performs in the rain, and I will keep you guys posted. One other thing that I did is uh, I noticed I was going to mow the grass, and everybody's gone. Let me get this camera adjusted. And my kids have been mowing the grass for the last four weeks, and unfortunately they don't tell you when something's wrong. So I pulled the mower out of the shed and uh, ended up pulling it around to the garage. This back tire, let me flip around and show you. And I got to looking and there's a grommet behind it, a nylon grommet that was just eat up. Well, I didn't have one of those, but I did have this gear out of an old garage door opener and it had a sprue, I don't know how well you can see it, well, you can't, but it had a sprue on each side. Took my Dremel tool, cut the sprue off one side, made it flat. It luckily fit right inside of the wheel. <laughs> and I was able to bolt my wheel on. And now you can see it's nice and sturdy and ready for action. So that was a quick and dirty little repair. It didn't cost me anything. I've had that gear for probably five, six, well, maybe longer than that, years. Um, I don't know what I was planning to do with it, why I hung on to it, but I did. And now I'm happy I did because it fit the shaft of that wheel, the axle, it fit perfectly and it's nylon, which is what was on there. And all I had to do was shorten it to the proper length. That thing will probably outlast me, but uh, time for me now to go ahead and do a little mowing. So I'm gonna let you guys go, get my yard mowed, and I'll come back and touch base with you afterwards and see if there's anything else going on around here. As you can see from the video, it works perfect. The geared section, it, it, was a, it was the drive gear off of a garage door opener and I had to replace the worm gear because the worm gear stripped. And I hung on to that and really all I needed was a nylon spacer. So by cutting one side of it off where it sort of stuck out past the gear, it was the perfect width and it fits right inside the tire. Sometimes it spins, sometimes it doesn't, but that doesn't really matter. The tire's not wobbling anymore. It's spinning freely and perfectly. I'm happy with this repair. Let me get this yard finished. Well, I got the grass finished, got the mower put away, cleaned up. I tell you what, I, I really am happy with that uh, gear because what happened is when I cut it to the proper length that it needed to be, it provided a good nylon bushing for the wheel to ride against. And with that gear being on there, I noticed something when you mow, you push down on the back of the mower and twist the mower around to go the opposite direction. Maybe you're not supposed to do that, but that back left tire takes a whole lot of wear and tear when I do that. And it's a large tire, so it, you know, it tends to kind of bow a little bit. Well, the nice thing is with having that gear on there, the gear is pressing against the tire, which is giving the tire a little more rigidity. So hopefully uh, it'll help it hold up. And the bushing on the right side doesn't even look worn, but the one on the left side was just chewed all to heck and back. But that's enough of that. Let me show you guys what I got today. Um, here it is. Testers model paint in green. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take, I've got another tube. Uh, it's back on the table there somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and prep the other half of the money blank. Okay. I'm going to paint the inside of the tube on this one. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to compare the two. Uh, I'll do a video. It won't be as long as the one where I turned the first blank. It'll be a shorter video, uh, kind of a follow-up, and I'll, I'll release it a day or two after the first video, you know, so the interest people, it'll be there and people will, will kind of be following along. And um, I'm going to turn it with paint, and then I'm going to compare the two blanks. And in the video, I'm going to ask people to vote. Which one do you like better? Uh, because a lot of people on Instagram and Facebook, as well as uh, my... Um, uh, what you do in Bob channel here have said that they really kind of like the brass tube because it's kind of like the color gold and gold goes well with green you know in regard to to money so I've had a lot of positive responses and that's what gave me this idea uh, because I was immediately just going to turn it off and do something different this way I get the best of both worlds I'm gonna let you guys vote and whichever one gets the most votes I'm gonna build the pin with that blank so with that in mind, I'm going to shut the camera off and I'm going to get to work uh, on this. I am not going to film the cutting to, to, to length and the drilling of the blank. I kind of feel like that's redundant since I just did it in the previous video. I'm going to get it prepped for the paint 
and I won't film tonight because I'm sweaty and nasty, but I'm gonna get it prepped for the paint and I'll get the Q-tips and everything ready. I'll have it all ready to go. And then uh, the next chance I get in the shop, um, I'll go ahead and throw that out there as part of the video and uh, get the blank painted and continue on from there. So I'm excited about this. I think it's gonna be kind of fun. Um, I'm gonna shut the camera off and I'm gonna get busy uh, goofing off around the shop here and see uh, what kind of trouble I can get into. Well, I'm doing pretty good. I got my blank drilled out. It is ready for a tube. Uh, I put a little feeler out on uh, Facebook and Instagram looking for a 27 64 inch tube. And Michael Barr was kind enough to uh, say that he would drop one in the mail to me. And shortly after I sent him my address, John Fields, who is a, a buddy of mine locally, he's in my Turner's Club, said he has one and he'll bring it to the Turner's Club meeting on Sunday. So I contacted Michael back and I thanked him uh, for, for his offer. I truly appreciated it. Um, but, you know, I'm going to be able to get one on Sunday and hopefully maybe I'll have some time Sunday afternoon to get started on this video. Uh, I'm really kind of psyched about it. I mean, there was, there was a whole lot more interest than I ever thought there would be. And it really surprised me. And then I threw this idea out there and uh, the people that I talked to about it really kind of got on board and really liked it. So we're going to see what happens. Other than that, I've just been kind of straightening up the shop, uh, getting things organized. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm waiting for my wife and kids to get back. Uh, they're bringing me a little dinner. And um, so I'm just going to kind of clean and organize. And I'm going to eat some dinner, take a shower, and call it an early night because mowing the lawn just wipes me out when it's hot. Um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If something happens, I'll... Uh, I'll do a quick blurb at the end, but uh, I would really like to thank you guys for following along. I truly appreciate appreciate you watching my videos, and, and I absolutely love hearing from you. So always feel free to comment, suggest. I, I love uh, the interaction we have. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you again very soon. Take care. I told you guys I'd pop back in if anything uh, happened in the shop. I cut these out. These are, these are boxes. They're going to be disposable boxes that... Uh, I'm going to use for some blank ideas that I have and all I need to do now is get them get them glued up. I'm just going to use a little hot glue and uh, I'll be able to knock them apart uh, once I'm done. So I don't know. We're going to see how this turns out.